<laughs> Actually, the boy's quite astute. I really am trying to kill him, but so far, unsuccessfully. He's quite wily, like his old man. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, well, we've heard from you, Scott. Now, uh, you, tell us a little about yourself. The details of my life are quite inconsequential. Oh, no, please, please. Let, let's hear about your childhood. Yeah. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Very well. Where do I begin? My father was a relentlessly self-improving boulangerie owner from Belgium with low-grade narcolepsy and a penchant for buggery. My mother was a 15-year-old French prostitute named Chloe with webbed feet. My father would womanize, he would drink, he would make outrageous claims like he invented the question mark. Sometimes he would accuse chestnuts of being lazy, the sort of general malaise that only the genius possess and the insane lament. My childhood was typical. Summers in Rangoon, luge lessons. In the spring, we'd make meat helmets. When I was insolent, I was placed in a burlap bag and beaten with reeds. Pretty standard, really. At the age of 12, I received my first scribe. At the age of 14, as a roastery named Vilma, ritualistically shaved my testicles. At the age of 18, I went off to evil medical school. At the age of 25, I took up tap dancing. I wanted to be a quadruple threat, an actor, a dancer. You know, we have to stop. 